This guide is the fourth in the series, Identity Management with Office 365. These four guides were designed to be taken in order, as they follow the prescribed process for configuring Active Directory Federation. In this guide, you'll see how to synchronize your on-premises and cloud-based organizations using Active Directory synchronization. To navigate this guide, either click the prompts indicated on the screen. This is the server on which Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, was installed previously in this series. From here, you'll log into the Office 365 Admin Center and see how to activate Active Directory synchronization. This step is required before you can configure directory synchronization. To begin, follow the prompts on the screen. Type in your administrator credentials. From the Office 365 Admin Center, navigate to Users and Groups. Next to Active Directory Synchronization, click Setup. Click Activate. By enabling Active Directory Synchronization, administrators can continue to create identities using on-premises Active Directory services. With this feature, user accounts created locally are available for use with Office 365 features. Click where prompted to activate the Active Directory Synchronization feature for your Office 365 subscription. As you can see, Active Directory Synchronization is being activated. Next, you'll see how to download and run the directory synchronization tool. To get started, click Download, and then follow the prompts. The Microsoft Online Services Directory Synchronization tool has been installed. Clear the Start Configuration Wizard Now checkbox, and then click Finish to exit the setup wizard. As indicated on the screen, Active Directory Synchronization has been activated. Now, minimize your browser and follow the prompts to continue. Switching to the Domain Controller, Review the Active Directory user accounts that you want to synchronize to Office 365. In this case, the user accounts to be synchronized have all been placed in a custom organizational unit called Accounts. Next, let's return to the server with ADFS installed to see how to configure the Microsoft Online Services Directory Synchronization tool using the Configuration Wizard. First, open the Directory Sync Configuration Wizard. This setup wizard will establish a connection between your organization's Active Directory service and Microsoft Online Services. Follow the prompts on the screen to continue. On the Microsoft Online Services Credentials page, enter your Office 365 Administrator credentials. Next, enter your Active Directory Administrator credentials. Here, you have the option to enable an Exchange Hybrid deployment. For the purposes of this guide, Leave the Enable Exchange Hybrid Deployment checkbox clear and click Next to continue. The Microsoft Online Services Directory Synchronization tool has now been configured. Active Directory Synchronization will now run every three hours. You can force immediate directory synchronization by leaving the Synchronize Directories Now checkbox selected. For the purposes of this guide, clear the checkbox. You'll see how to manually complete this process in a moment. Click Finish to complete and close the wizard. You'll now see how to use the Synchronization Service Manager to limit the scope of directory synchronization. To get started, navigate to Synchronization Service Manager and then follow the prompts on the screen. From Synchronization Service Manager, navigate to Management Agents, and then select the Active Directory Domain Services Agent. Next, you'll configure the directory partitions. Follow the on-screen prompts to see how.
Enter your administrator credentials. Specify the containers to include in the Office 365 synchronization. Follow the on-screen prompts to continue. When finished, click OK to close the window. Click Operations. Next, you'll see how to use Windows PowerShell to manually run directory synchronization for the objects you've just specified. Open Windows Explorer and navigate to the PowerShell shortcut for the Windows Directory Synchronization module. From Windows PowerShell, you'll enter a command to manually trigger directory synchronization. Press Enter to execute the commandlet. Follow the prompts to navigate back to Synchronization Service Manager. As you can see by the added entries to the Management Agent Operations list, directory synchronization has been initiated. The process will also continue to run in the background every three hours to keep your organization's directories in sync. Next, you'll switch back to the Office 365 Admin Center to review user accounts and verify from the cloud that directory synchronization was successful. Follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Synchronized users may take one to two minutes to appear. For the purposes of this guide, refresh the page now. In the Status column, you can see the user accounts that are now synced with the on-premises Active Directory service. Select a user and then follow the on-screen prompts to review the account details. Notice that some user details such as name, job title and department can be edited only through your local Active Directory. Follow the prompts to see how this is done. Returning to your organization's domain controller, you'll see how to edit user account details. From the list of online users in your local Active Directory, select the account to be updated. From the User Properties window, click the Organization tab and enter. Click OK to save the changes and close the window. Now, switching back to the server where ADFS is installed, you'll force directory synchronization again to immediately apply these changes to the user's Office 365 account. To do so, navigate back to the Windows PowerShell window with the directory synchronization module loaded. Enter the commandlet to run directory synchronization. Directory synchronization has now been initiated. Close the window and follow the prompts on the screen to review the user's updated account details from the Office 365 Admin Center. As you can see, the directory synchronization was successful and the user's Office 365 account details have been updated. Next, you'll see how to filter the user list and activate Office 365 subscriptions for users in your organization. First, follow the on-screen prompts to filter your user list to show only unlicensed users. From here, you can quickly assign Office 365 licenses to multiple users. Follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Select Activate Synced Users. Next, set the user location for the selected users. Indicate the type of license to be assigned to these users from the list of available licenses. For the purposes of this guide, leave the current plan selected and click Next. Here, you can send temporary passwords for new users to yourself or to the users. For the purposes of this guide, send a copy of these results to yourself only. To continue, click Activate. As you can see, 
Office 365 licenses are now active for the users you have selected. Click Finish and then follow the on-screen. Now, switching to a workstation, you'll see how to sign in to Office 365 as an end user to verify Identity Federation and client connectivity. Follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Enter domain credentials for a user in your organization. Next, you'll add your organization's domain name as a trusted intranet site to allow the user's credentials to be passed through to the ADFS server. Navigate to the desktop and follow the on-screen prompts to continue. From the user's home page, open the Tools menu in Internet Explorer and then follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Navigate to the Security tab to set security settings for local intranet sites. From the local intranet window, Add the Office 365 website to the list of trusted sites. Click Close and follow the prompts to save your changes. The Office 365 website has been added to the list of trusted local intranet sites. Navigate to the Office 365 portal. Begin signing in with the user's Active Directory credentials. Notice that once the username is entered, Office 365 automatically redirects the sign-in attempt to the Federated Domain's ADFS browser sign-in website for authentication. As you can see, the user is now signed in to the Office 365 portal using the organization's domain credentials. This guide, Installing and Configuring Active Directory Synchronization, is now complete. In this guide, you saw how to synchronize your on-premises and cloud-based organizations using Active Directory Synchronization. This completes the series Identity Management with Office 365.